Howdy y'all, welcome back to another LFG video. This one guys is brought to you every month I do one of these. This is for Mystery Tackle Box, long time partner of the channel. And this is a special month because two years ago, I got my dad his first Mystery Tackle Box. I got him the original box and then last year, I upgraded him to the Pro Box and he's still kicking on strong. He's on the road right now while I'm fishing he says his, his dream is to go and drive to lakes and help me fish and travel with all of our fishing gear and a truck. So when we get there, we got everything that we need. And he's on the road right now heading to Canada and I'm gonna be up there tomorrow to meet him. So got a special message from dad just a second ago. I'll play for you guys. Hey guys, I'm here in the middle of Kansas. I'm headed to Rainy Lake up in Canada. I'm gonna fish with LFG. Can't tell you how excited I am. It's going to be a great time. Big pike, big smallmouth, big As time. you can tell, he's pretty pumped, really excited, and I can't wait to go do some fishing with him up there. We've been doing this Canadian trip for the last three years now on Father's Day, and it's a really special time. So I just wanted to say thanks to my dad for being so awesome, being so supportive of me and my fishing career it sounded crazy a long time ago but he supported me from the get-go my first tournament ever he was there to support me and as a small token of appreciation i get him an mtb box every month and i've been doing that for three years it helps him fish lures he otherwise wouldn't fish with he didn't teach me everything i learned a lot on my own he's passionate about fishing but he doesn't know all the techniques so getting these boxes really helps him so if you guys want to help out your dads on this father's day real easy they got some sales going on for father's day on mysterytacklebox.com so you can go check it out hook your dad up and maybe you can be like me he'll come back and he'll thank you for helping him learn a new technique and i just want to say super proud of my dad i love him so much i can't wait for the day when he's retired maybe i'm still making videos but we're for sure going to be fishing lakes together and having a good time i'll leave the link for the website in the description where you guys can go check out the sales but dad i love you and you got more boxes coming, don't worry. It's extremely windy. And there's tons of boats on the water. But let's see what we got going on. Gotta say, mad props, MTB. That one's definitely gonna go on a tackle box, maybe even the boat right there. Got a top water. I've actually been using this one uh, here lately because I did some other videos with it and uh, I've caught a lot of fish with this. Carried, I'm carrying some of these up to Canada. Lunker City, uh, these are uh, sluggos. Pretty classic lure actually. Uh, we got a bait that we can flip. We got a Biospawn Viocrawl, a Lucky John uh, Pilot X, which is like a crankbait. Oh, we got an Optimum Bait Swim Bait. Looks like a heavy leaded lead weight. I'm probably gonna put that on right now actually. Ooh, and we have some Liquid Mayhem, a, a juicy little bottle of this stuff. So this is used for basically adding more scent and attractant, and this one smells like shad. So I'm seeing something right here. Are you guys seeing this? I'm seeing a shad. I'm seeing some shad scent. I'm going to put that on. This is actually a good little size here for what we have. It might work a little bit better if it was just white, but I'm sure these fish can see it. And we're gonna add a little stinky shad juice on there to give it a little extra attraction. I was out here not long, too long ago and I was trying to catch white bass, but I was throwing swim baits and ended up catching uh, some largemouth. So we'll just see what happens here. Ooh, it's got a nice little snap bottle and we're gonna just get in there with our hands. Smear that on in. It's a tasty little treat. And I also just realized that I did not put this all the way through the tip of my rod. So we're now we're gonna put that through there. Oh, that's gotta be like a line or something. Got it. Oh gosh, that line or cable. Tremendous for fishing line. There it goes. Got it. Ooh, I can already feel it scratch my line up. I think that it's time that I cover some water since we got such wavy, wonky conditions here with all of these boats and the wind. Put on this little Lucky John crank. Let's see what this thing does. Now this bait's got a really wide, floaty action. It wants to shoot up, but it's it's doing a lot of wide stuff. 
you don't have to reel it very much to feel it shooting side to side. I'm just gonna hit, hit this windy bank, then I'm gonna go try some other areas that got some chop on them. Got him a shad. Just making a little assembly line. They go eat their shad on the shore and then they go get more. Those long neck birds that typically are on the bank, you see them flying out over water, that means that there is a shad population that's getting stirred up. It takes a lot of energy for them to go out there and hover over the water. There 100% has to be a bass up in these stick ups somewhere. Oh, let's try a swimmer. Oh, got bit. Got 100% bit. Well, I know something we can come back there and throw. I'm gonna have to do a little something, something here. This has just been working great for me lately. This is in another mystery tackle box, the flickety split. Just put that on. Normally I'm throwing it on spinning gear, but all my, all my finesse stuff is with my dad on its way up to Canada right now. Put one of these little sluggos. I'm gonna rig that just right in the middle, just like that. And why not throw some, uh, some juicy juice on there, huh? A little liquid mayhem. So the technique I'm using here, I'm trying to go after some of these suspended fish up against these tires. These are here to break up the waves. The tires grow algae, just like boat docks and everything like that. So the shad will come up and they'll feed around it. It's a great place for bluegill too. And this presentation is just slow sinking. Even though it's like 30, 40 feet deep right here, the fish will only be like four to eight feet down, typically, you know, just depending on the water clarity. So I just count it down a few seconds. I have to do it. Got to pick up this top water. Got to pick up that gunfish. Just do a little work. May not catch anything, but God dog it. I have been trying. I'm just like swinging for the fence right here with a topwater bite. Just trying to get that Maverick three pounder. This is also a good situation to follow that up with the sluggo. Shatter moving in the shallows right here. Gosh, this is a no brainer. Come on. Oh, got one behind it. Oh, got it. Oh, it came off. Top water fun. Come on, blast that thing. There's one. Ah. And it is a white bass. Boy, there's an airplane coming over, I think. Not sure if you guys can hear it. It's kind of quiet. It's maybe a little private jet or something. No. International flight. This is like really not the time you want to be tangled up, I'm telling you. Well, it has been a solid bag of doo-doo so far. Dog it. I'm just gonna go back but to the ramp. If I can't get bit there, I'm going in. I'm ready to go to Canada, guys. Fish with the thermocline, being caddy wampus on me and it's bugging me. Gosh dang it, largemouth. Do what you're supposed to do. I can't even catch the white bass right now. That's how bad it is. I'm just barely coming up and nipping my lure. So I'm gonna go to the ramp, see if I can catch anything. If not though, I'm gonna go home and eat cookies. Eat some milk, some special cookies that OSG made me. Why? Because that makes any day better. One last hole for all the marbles, let's do it. I don't even know anymore. Crankbait to the face, please. Oh my gosh, look how many white bass are down there. Wow, we got all those white bass down there. Whoa, shoot. I almost lost it over that wave right there. Jeez. Hmm. There was a topwater bite right there in that little unit. Oh, that's a juicy. Oh my gosh. Had to be a good largemouth. Oh, I'm in the zone. Oh gosh, there's another one. There's another one. That's a large mouth too. Oh my gosh, if I could get a top water bite right here, it would just make my day. This 
seen two bass right here just cream shad oh yeah nectar nectar cast oh god oh my gosh i missed him good largemouth good largemouth missed it good largemouth missed it right there oh come on for the win logo oh god terrible cast come on still be there still be there not a terrible cast sluggo for the win come on You're just not attacking the, just not eating the lures good got him got him oh yes for the win Oh my gosh, I don't think you're the same fish, but I'll take you. Holy crap. Man, I worked hard for you, buddy. That's a good little follow-up on a topwater. Let you go. Man, worked hard for that fish. So basically, we're night fishing at this point. Gotta head back to the treehouse and get ready because we're leaving early in the morning to go after the brown fish of the north and the golden crispies and the big jaw pike with dad special Father's Day week. And hopefully my dad is in Idaho right now. That's where he's supposed to be. Hope you're doing okay on the road, Dad. Early next morning, getting ready to do a full send up north. So I'm actually gonna be taking a couple things out of here and taking them up to Canada with me. So I'm doing all my last minute preparations right now. I had a few of these left over, these Lucky Craft gunfishes. I'm gonna be taking those. Last year, they were hitting top waters because they it was like they were imitating uh, the mayflies and anyway the water is really clear a black color like that is good in that clear water and i'm going to take this stuff and give it a try so just these two things if i had to rate this box i would give it probably an eight and a half i would say it's really spot on for june gotta have a top water in the summer no question that swim bait you can fish that shallow or deep and i typically do start catching them deep on swim baits in uh, late May and into June. I didn't even break out the vile crawl. Vile spawn bait, if you guys get one of these, first of all, make sure you rip the tails apart on any craw or beaver style bait that you get because they come packaged that way to keep it kind of formed together. So we break those apart and that way it gets more action. And I, I would actually take this middle, middle thing off as well and give it a uh, just a, a more craw profile. That little single deal in the middle it does have some action but it really spreads out when you take that off there like that so good job on the sticker mtb i think i'm going to stick that on one of my coolers and that is going to do it for today's video guys if you want to check out more mtb boxes you can check out the link in the description below you can also get five dollars off your first box if you get signed up so that link is down there you can use that code the next time you see me i will probably be out in a little dinghy trying to catch some bronze backs up in canada i may have one more video I'm not sure, but there is no internet up there, and I probably won't be able to get any any grams out. Hopefully I can, so you guys can keep up with a little bit until I get back, but it's gonna be a cool series of videos, and I can't wait. And it's a special time to spend with my dad, which is something that we, we started doing three years ago, and I think we're gonna keep the tradition rolling. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and I'm about to be a father myself. So until I see you again, I hope you're catching Mondos and giving them a good whiff. Subscribe right here if you want more action. Hit the ding-dongs, and I'll see you on the next one.